Thank you friends for coming back and in this video we'll discuss a very interesting topic personalized embryo transfer nowadays I think in the world everything is becoming more and more personalized and so is embryo transfer what is it and how is it done in the human body an embryo is formed inside the fallopian tube when the egg or the oocyte is fertilized by the sperm this resulting embryo now travels through the fallopian tube for four days and on the fifth day it comes inside the uterus or the womb at this point the outer shell of the womb called the zona pellucida breaks down and the embryo now attaches to the wall of the womb and grows there this acceptance of the embryo by the womb is called endometrial receptivity and the time period during which the womb accepts this embryo is called the window of implantation in an IVF cycle we doctors put the embryo back inside the womb on a particular day or a date based on certain calculations why is it important for us to understand this endometrial receptivity or personalized embryo transfer it is important because we are now doing more and more frozen embryo transfer cycles as compared to fresh embryo transfer cycles and we humans and we doctors are deciding when the embryo needs to go back which is why we need to understand this personalized embryo transfer we have another video where I have explained how exactly a frozen embryo transfer cycle is planned and done for you and also another video where I have shared uh, how a frozen embryo transfer cycle is better than a fresh embryo transfer cycle the links for these videos are below click on them um, to see the videos so how do we doctors decide which is the correct day or date for putting the embryos back this date has been decided by uh, various calculations and research work which has been done across the world does that mean that the same protocol works for every woman no it doesn't and that is what we are realizing with more and more work and more and more research that the window of implantation is different for different women this standard protocol works for about 95 percent of the women but in five percent of the women unless we are doing a personalized embryo transfer these women will continue to fail IVF again and yet again studies have revealed that at least three out of every ten women will continue to fail IVFs because of a displaced window of implantation this is where ERA or endometrial receptivity array comes in so how is it performed so say we have decided to do your embryo transfer so we give you certain medicines to make your lining do ultrasounds blood tests to see if the lining is coming out all right and then on a particular day we've decided that we are going to go ahead with an embryo transfer now for doing an ERA on this particular day we will not do your embryo transfer on the other hand we will take some lining of your womb a very small bit and we will send it for testing the lab is now going to look at 248 genes connected with endometrial receptivity and the lab is going to come back and tell us that on the day that we've taken your lining of the womb was your womb receptive for the embryo or not it's also going to tell us that if your womb wasn't receptive should we transfer one day prior or one day later than the day in which we've done the biopsy it's amazing isn't it how technology changes the way we work in our clinic we've done innumerable eras and with this simple test we've been able to change the lives of so many women who've had otherwise so many IVF failures so a simple test is now changing the lives of so many women and bringing smiles onto their faces I hope you liked the video and thank you so much for liking and sharing our videos and I hope you subscribe to our channel for all the upcoming videos as well looking forward to seeing you in our next video